else could say that a poly could represent a Balani story. Um, so it's amazing to be able to share our story as someone that looks like this with my background and my lived experiences. So, you know. And with so many of us that yeah. look the same, come from the mm-hmm. same places, mm-hmm. same colour skin, big hair, mm. big voice. Yeah. Such an honor. Big stomachs and eating. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. At first it was quite hard to, especially for the second character, Mariah Reynolds, she's very sexy and like, you know, um, you know, I'm such an egg, like, I'm like <laughs> um, so that, <laughs> that was hard, um, but Peggy's someone who is an egg and who is like a menace and like the little the little sister who's like annoys everyone um, but <laughs> mm, but, <laughs> but it's amazing like it's a good challenge and um, it's something that um, I find that I could just tap into now and yeah I think it's amazing it took a long time it got to the point where I would dress differently for each sister I would put on different perfume for each sister I would start the day differently and listen to different music um, because I'm a method actor. Wow. <laughs> I'm a pro. So, <laughs> so it was, yeah, it was uh, quite a process at first. But I've been doing it for so long that I feel like it's kind of, it's in there. Part of my role is to be ready to go on at any moment. Split second, you go from one sister to the next. Um, so it's awesome. We get paid to dress up yeah. and be fools yeah. every day. Love what a it. gift. That's amazing. <laughs> what a gift. It makes my heart like happy but also like overflow, flowing sometimes that we can represent these women, um, especially as an Apolli, as someone who works hard, you know, grew up with my nana waking up at all hours of the morning, you know, getting all the kids ready and doing all these things, you know, there's, it's hard working women and for, for us to be able to portray that is like incredible. It's, it's so amazing. And to have only three women, you know, out of the other seven men, that's also like, wow. Like, we're like, we're there. And honestly, it's like, we're like the backbone. <laughs> you know? Like every day. No. <laughs> <laughs> like every other day. It's, um, the show is called Hamilton, and everyone thinks it's Alexander Hamilton. But it's There's Eliza. also Eliza Hamilton as well. Yeah. Eliza, and you know, you find out at the end of the show, she's the one that brings his, that carries his story, tells his story, and is probably quite responsible for bringing his story to the stage yeah. today. Yeah. You saw how much she, you see how much she achieved in the last mm-hmm. 50 years of her life. Sacrifice, man. Women. Sacrifice. Yeah, Superheroes. Yeah. We can do it all. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It's so inspiring to me. So if, if Lizzie can do it, and Angelica, and Pegs. So can I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it means so many things. Um, the sacrifices that we have made to be here as an islander, as a poly, as a Maori is um, life changing. And to be able to be on a global stage and for younger generations who look like me, like my niece and my nephews and, you know, just kids who get to see me and go, oh my gosh, that's me, mum. It's it's insane to me that I can be that for someone and it just means everything. You know, this is like the biggest musical in the world and here we are in Aotearoa. I grew up here in South Auckland. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's bizarre to me that I am here, um, but it, it's it's it's... <laughs> It makes sense, you know? It makes sense because we can do it. Anyone can do it. Mm. Um, that part. Our people can do it, you know? Our people can do it. And, and I hope that we can inspire um, people to see us and, 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 you know, say, oh my gosh, I can dream big. You can dream huge. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. yeah. I'm only here because my dad, my dad had, my parents had me quite young. And my dad's a singer, so he ultimately, in my eyes, he gave up this life mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. So now I carry that with me on stage yeah. every day. Um, plus I'm a mum now. My son is eight months old today. Um, and I want my son... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. same, I know. Cool. I want my son and my daughters to see me. Yeah. They will see you <laughs> see and us. they will be so proud. Like yeah. 
she's an amazing mum. So and know that we can we can do it and we belong here. It's really really empowering, honestly, to look at a story that isn't necessarily ours, but to make it our own and with our own flair, and to go, yeah, we can tell the story, but it also means something to us. You know, this is an immigrant story of someone you know starting from the very bottom and going to the very top and. You know, we can do the exact same thing. See, there's a massive level of empowerment in that and going, it, it might be your story, but watch us tell it because we'll tell it really, really well. Yeah, Hamilton covers such a massive kind of variety of music. You, know, you got jazz, hip hop, R&B, rap, and sort of traditional musical theater stuff involved in it as well. But in all honesty, when it comes down to it, my favorite song to perform has got to be Wait For It as the like, that song is just so meaningful and special and heartbreaking as well. But yeah, no, that's got to be my favorite song. It's been so special. Like, I remembering those first days of coming in and seeing people who looked like me, who, you know, walked like me, who talked like me, and going, I didn't know you people were here. Like, I didn't know this was here in the industry waiting. I grew up watching my dad on TV and he was you know, one of the only other faces I saw, you know, him and maybe Temuera Morrison. <clears throat> but to come into this company and to be surrounded by a family like that, yeah, there's nothing like it at all. If it was to be one thing that you could take away is that you can do it because we're doing it. And, you know, maybe 20 years ago for some of us, 10 years ago for some of us, five years ago for some of us, we were you. We were sitting where you're sitting. We were watching what you were watching and going, maybe I can do it too. And that is really and truly all I can hope that our performance serves to be as is to go, is to sort of encourage that next generation to go, maybe. And then, yeah, because then that's, this is where you end up. This is what happens. So watch, take it in and know that you are good enough, you can do this. And I cannot wait to watch you do it one day. Oh, my God.